Hello everyone. So I've got iPhone 6s here. It been found for a battery drain issue. Customers said it is draining the battery really quickly. And uh, I did ask them if they have a charging problem as well or charging issue as well. They said no. The phone charges fine. There's nothing wrong. I verified even though I plugged a charger and it charges fine. So as I explained in my previous videos as well, battery iPhone can drain iPhone drains the battery because of two reasons. First reason is there is a short circuit somewhere, so it is losing a current from there, so that's why it is draining the battery. The second reason is a bad tristar IC. So I been often asked that question. How we are gonna find out if there is a short circuit or if that is a bad tristar which is causing battery drain. So today I'm gonna show you how we can identify if that is a short circuit or if that is a tristar which is causing the battery drain. So how I have a method to find out quickly because from my experience I have did over 100 of the phones, tristar repairs and I always observe with the DC power supply. So whenever I get the issue with the battery drain, so what I do, I always disconnect everything from the board. I have disconnected the screen disconnect the battery disconnected the charging port and I'm gonna disconnect this power button flex as well because sometimes any of the parts that is shorted which can cause the battery drain as well battery drain is not only people they have uh, some people they think battery drain only caused by TriStar. That's not true. I have seen many iPhone successes where the battery drain was because of short the home button. So that's not always TriStar. So how we we should we always need to diagnose properly before jumping into anything or uh, before jumping into the TriStar and just replace the TriStar. Most of the cases yeah it will fix the problem because if that is a TriStar problem. But we wouldn't know the logic we wouldn't know how we just replace the uh, chip and the problem is resolved or we didn't diagnose everything we just followed the please go solution from somewhere on the internet so in this video i'm going to show how we are going to identify on with the help of dc power supply if that is a bad trash talk or if that uh, there is a short circuit somewhere so I disconnected everything from my PCB power this uh, power button flex rear camera front camera screen everything is off so I'm gonna hook my DC power supply and I'm gonna hit my power button from my DC power supply cable Did you notice anything? Let me show you again. So, this phone jumped straight from 0 to 180 or 200 or something like that. So, when phone boots up normally, it boots up 0 when I hit the power button it will go 0 0.04 0 0.7 0. Uh, 0 0.14 and then so on it will boot like that but in this case it is not the same what it is doing it is jumping look at this one on the DC power supply it is jumping from 0 to 170 and 250 and then it is booting up so that's mean we have a problem in the beginning even though 
that is typical tristar failure this is the behavior of the tristar failure it is not only for the battery drain whenever i have charging problem as well how if the phone is not charging if that is charging with the only partial ba charge battery with the stone ba dead battery is not charging so that is the same way i find out the problem with the tristar i don't jump straight into the tristar i don't push around i straight away hook with the dc power supply and observe it to be the dc power supply so if we have a shot somewhere how we are going to find the shot obviously we should have 0.00, .00 some before prompt to, to boot if we have any short circuit here obviously it will show over there remember short circuit is not uh, something which we are going to have only before prompt to boot we can have a shot after prompt to boot as well but in this case we are going to discuss that one in an, any other video so but that is very rare that is not very common that is very very rare i have seen few cases that but that is very very rare so first thing you need to see how we are gonna find that is a tri star or any other issue your phone shouldn't jump straight to 170 or 180 or 0 0.08 0 200 0 0.25 or something like that normal phone when it boots up when you press this button it goes to 0 0.04 0 0.07 and 0 0.14 and then so on but in this phone that is not the same it will jump to 0 0.18 0 0.26 0 0.28 and then is booting up so that's mean our trial star is bad so let's replace the trial star and then see if that resolves the problem after trial star replacement we should have normal amp draw from the dc power supply i have did this more than 100 phones and then i have observed the same thing each and every phone so that's how i can quickly identify the problem with the trial star many people they use trial star tester trial star that um, CNC box or something like that they, they are good method even though but this is a quick method to find out bad star try star because sometimes people they say okay that is uh, sometimes battery is charged already and then they have issue with the charging as a uh, sorry sometimes uh, there is a charge battery with the phone and uh, it only charge with a partial charge battery but when the battery is totally dead it won't charge so that in that case we will have the same behavior in the dc power supply because that will have same current draw and it will show same current draw on the dc power supply if that have a bad dry start so if the tristar is bad in any way in any way so it is gonna show the same jumping 0 0.18 and then so on it's gonna sh show the same draw on the dc power supply if you have a tristar problem that's how i found on my method on dc power supply so i'm gonna pull a remove the sticker We don't want to just change the chips randomly without any experience or diagnostic. This is a thing I learned, this method or this thing I learned from the experience. Because whenever I do something and then I always try to observe it with another phone with same problem. So with all the tri-star failures so far, I have notice the same behavior on the DC power supply so let me switch you to the microscope
this phone is not water damage or anything like that okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bend this shield a little bit because I need to access the tristar I don't cut this shield I don't need to I just need to bend it a little bit and then so I can pull it because I need some space under there so some people they do cut the shield I don't think so they you need to cut that shield just bend it a little bit and then do your tristar job and bend it back put the sticker back in okay I'm gonna pull this IC I'm not using any heat sink on the NAND or anywhere because I don't need to I just wanna quickly pull the IC because I am heating away from the NAND That's fine. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just clean off these pads. Yeah, that's enough. I'm gonna use same I'm not going to clean off this flux. I'm just going to put the IC back in and then after that I'm going to clean off the flux in one go. So, let me grab my IC. Don't need to put more flux. I'm gonna use same flux. Yeah. You don't need to align the IC perfectly with the balls is gonna jump into the place automatically so. look it's jumping into the place I'm gonna merge it little bit yeah that's done I'm gonna wait for the boat to cool down and then I'm gonna test it When you have partial shot somewhere, that is a bit difficult to find out. But that's not easy. Because partial shot doesn't produce that much heat. And uh, I, some people they claim with a thermal cam, they can quickly find out partial shot. That's not the case. With the sometime with the thermal cam, you can't 100% figure out the partial shot. Especially if that is very very low, I have that experience. I'm not sure if someone could figure out in more better way. So anyway, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test with my DC power supply without connecting anything now i should have normal boot because we have tried we have replaced the tristar and uh, now i should have normal boot order so i'm going to show you what is the normal boot order so let's press this power button 
can you see on the DC power supply 0 0.04, 0 0.8 and then 0 0.11 and then is booting up it's not booting up before like it is not jumping to 0 0.18 and then 0 0.25 to 0 0.26 so it's booting up normally you can see it here let me show you again 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.11, 0 0.12 and then it's booting up in normal sequence so it's not jumping anything like that so that's how you can identify if that is a tri-star problem before jumping into any other IC or any other problem like any other uh, conclusion so let me show you with that uh, housing if that let me connect the charging port and then see if that charges because that is a charging IC so we need to test the charging feature as well is pulling 0 0.93 amp from my charger which is a normal it is charging as well and it's pulling 0.93 amp from my charger so that's how you can identify back tristar with the help of DC power supply so you know if the tristar is causing the issue before just replacing it and uh, or if that is a other problem with the PCB or that is a part problem so if there is a part problem obviously you will find out with the help of DC power supply when you have everything disconnected and then you have a normal boot draw on that uh, DC power supply so you will find out that it's not a board related problem so that has to do something with the parts so I hope uh, you guys will enjoy this video I will see you in another video take care bye bye have a nice weekend